Hello, happy Sunday. I'm just here to let you show you. Oh, it's finished. Now I gotta wash it to get rid of the grids and the ink. But it's finally finished. Woohoo! It only took a few years. <laughs> so, the conclusive consensus is in. And I'm starting on this bed. Let's see how many years this will take to finish. You see all the detail in there? Oh, Lordy. And I started on number two, which is black. But this ought to give you a good idea of all the detail that's involved. Some of these colors I don't think I have enough of. Like number six. There's a big swatch of yellow. Well, it shows as yellow. This is number six. And I don't think that's enough for number six, but we'll see. I can always buy new colors, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I've started the. Uh... Oh, let me show you if I can get this put away real quick. Where the picture go? I started the skeletons and I'm starting in this corner with the black. Basically, I'm going to do all the black, get that out the way, and then move on down the list as appropriate or as I can. I'll skip around, basically. I'm not going to start in the corner and work my way around. I'm just going to pick colors and start with those the easily accessible symbols. Oh, this is the pattern. But yeah, that's all I wanted to update you on. And I like to preload my needles. <laughs> that way I can just get to town and get to work on the needles. With the just stitching, 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 stitching. Oh yeah. And there is a new addition to my whips. Which would be another commission piece. It's going to be this one. I'm using True Boo for the sweater and the lady picked a bunch of different colors four different colors <laughs> not a bunch but yeah so I'm getting started on that and I'm excited to do that one because I get to learn how to do cables I've never done cables before but I'm sure there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to do cables correctly plus I have the good old I should, probably shouldn't show that but I have the pattern right here that explains how to do cables Oh, and I can show you progress. This is the progress so far on uh, the, the Angvern sweater or however you see it. Not much progress. This is just the bottom border. <laughs> I hope it fits her. I really do. But I measured her so it should fit her. I'm going with the, the 2X, 1X size, which should fit her. If it don't fit her, it'll fit me. <laughs> it should fit her. It'll fit her because I measured. And according to the measurements, it'll fit. And then here's the progress on the two of his booty shot. <laughs> on this, I'm making this for myself. Not a very good picture of it. But, because this is the progress I've made so far on it with working on the torso portion you see I put it on but this hair is a bit of a, a bit of a butt to put through the, and I don't want to stretch it out or tear it up or anything so yeah that's two of the works in progress well three of them technically one cross stitch one, two crochets. That's just the sampling of the whips. Because I actually have a dress that I'm working on for myself. I have, I finished the two ties. I think I should put the pictures of them in here somewhere. And then, a shawl that I'm working on. And, 
a scarf. It's summertime. I don't need the scarf, but I'm working on it anyways because I've been holding on to it for a while. Let me go get them real quick. Alright, I'm back. That didn't take long for y'all. But here's the dress that I'm working on, which is a paid pattern from Hobie. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> There's the dress. There's the back of it. And as you can see, the front of it. I think I'm going to modify the design to stitch together at the top so I don't have to weave a string through. I'll just stitch it together so I have actual shoulders. Ooh. <laughs> But there's that. It's a pattern from Hobie. I can't remember if I paid for the pattern or not. But it's definitely on H-O-B-E-I-I. -I. And here is a picture of, if I could find it. called the summer garden dress there's a picture of it not a very good picture of it Let's see if I can find a better picture of it there's a picture of the back of it and as you can see it has a little slit that you gotta go around around and back and run the back once you get to that portion which I'm not there yet and then there's this which is my free form obviously a mess up <laughs> but it's a free form Tunisian crochet scarf and as you can see it's not uniform at all in the width because it goes very wide to kind of gets narrower there because I tried a different stitch right where my nose is <laughs> and then I moved back to the regular tit simple Tunisian crochet simple stitch and then this last beauté which is a shawl that I got from YouTube and I think I'll link the description or the, the video of it in the Comments, hold up, I gotta collect myself because I thought it was collected, but it's not. Hold up, give me a second, gotta get it to a stopping point. And as you can see, it uses size 3 yarn or 2. I think it's size three. Anyways, you use a very thin yarn with a big fat hook. Using a focusing on my face and not the hook. Well, you get the idea. It's a size J six millimeter hook for the shawl with a thin yarn, so it should be nice and drapey and flowy, which it is. See. I think mine looks nothing like hers, but it looks good. Not saying that either one of ours is bad. But that's all my whippies that I'm working on right now. I went with the skulls. I mean, not the skulls, the skeletons. The hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil skeletons. Just to finish, to start my new cross stitch. I just wanted to update y'all with that. And let you know that it's a... Uh, a great Monday Sunday <laughs> Sunday it's a Sunday mm. anyways stay crafty y'all thanks for watching bye